Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time it's the Samsung NVMe SSD, the 960 Evo, which is an M.2. So I've never had one of these before. This is going to improve the performance beyond 6 gigabytes, which is the SATA connection. This goes on to the board, I'm sure you all know. And I'm going to be uh, rebuilding my computer very soon now. I've got a 2600K and I'm going to go for a Ryzen build and I'm going to be using this to store Windows on in some of my videos for a video rendering. So I don't think it's going to be a very long unboxing here but uh, let's see what we get in the box. Probably not much else than a few chips. So let's see, mm, that's all it is. Just a very, very tiny. Isn't that amazing, that's one terabyte, this thing. One terabyte on that. In case you're wondering, I'm I'm statically uh taking the static away. Just in case. So well that's it really, other than uh Read the little booklet that comes with it. Oh, it's got that on the back. Oh, I see, let's just stop that moving about. All right. So it's the warranty, it shows you the difference between. Oh, there's a. Oh, I see. There are. One's got a different pin configuration, the M.2, to the NVE ME M.2 card. It's got oh, okay. So to tell it's an NV, oh god, what is it? An NVMe card. It's only got the one little gap there on the pins, whereas if it was focus. If it was the ever sort, then it would have another gap in it, which would be the uh, slower one. I've also bought for this, I've, I've bought some Raspberry Pi coolers, and I'm going to probably take that little sticker off and put some um, passive coolers on there. Um, well, so we've got the warranty. I don't know if we've really got much else in here, let's see. Different languages, law and jurisdictions. No, nothing much there really. So, yeah, there's nothing on the back. Except for this sticker, which you may want to have a look at. I went for the slightly cheaper one because I've spent quite a lot on this computer already. And I think even this one is faster than the... Uh, the Pro one was even just a, a year or two back, so I'm sure it'll be fast enough. But I think the architecture is different as well. So I've got the Pro one for the um, SATA SSD. I've got a one terabyte of that as well. So, but that is uh, bottlenecked by the SATA connection, which these aren't. So it'll be interesting to see just how fast they go. I daren't say any figures because it might be wrong. Uh, best to look them up. What it says on the uh, site. I think I'll put uh, the coolers on. Yeah, so I decided to buy these. These were about £8 on Amazon. 
these little uh, tiny coolers and I just think it might help the thing along because I know there's an issue with them getting quite warm Damn it, come off, there we go. That was quite easy to remove and it doesn't look like it's left any residue on there. Amazing that there's one terabyte on there. I guess someone might be looking at this in the future and seeing, oh wow, how ridiculous how, how little there is on there. There'd probably be a petabyte in 10 years time or something. So I've got these little Raspberry Pis and and I think that they're going to fit quite nicely onto these here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right, that's the first one. There we are, a little bit of passive cooling. And yes, I think that's what we'll do. Number two there. Oh, this one's a bit more tricky. Oh, come on. There we go. There's one more there. I don't know how hot that's going to get, but I mean by covering that over I may affect the heat from others as well. No, I think that'll do it, so let's get this nice and close so you can see. Focus, focus. So there we are, beefed it up a bit. The cooler the better, isn't it, with all this stuff, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. That's how I'm having mine. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.